the plant remains ferment, producing gas and heat, which is then transformed into electric energy. Without a doubt, the best energy-saving systems were patented by animals. The sun is an inexhaustible heater for the Earth's flora and fauna. Millions of calories sail towards the Earth, where plants and animals are very aware of its strength. Now these frogs are taking in the sun on the banks of the rivers like tourists on a Mediterranean beach. But the sun doesn't warm this land all year round. Before the first freeze, the frogs look for some shelter where they can protect themselves until the next warm season. The weather has changed, and now the conditions outside are extremely bad. The temperatures fall below zero degrees Celsius. The amphibian's small body activates a mechanism to keep from freezing to death. Its liver produces sugars that the frog accumulates inside its cells. These substances control the water in the frog's body so that it doesn't freeze to death. The trick is the same one we use to keep containers full of liquid from bursting due to the cold. However, the antifreezes that we use in our cars, for example, are much simpler. Certain frogs have shown that they know the key to the breeding genesis, coexisting with the ice inside their body. Their permeable skin leaves them no other choice. They have designed specific proteins that limit the formation of ice crystals, which allows them to live without oxygen and keeps their cells from bursting. What's most surprising and encouraging is that these frogs have opened the doors to scientists for the future freezing and maintenance of the organs used in transplants. Once again, what's a mystery for man has no secrets for animals. The most sophisticated method of temperature control, one we could describe as an authentic air conditioner, is found on the plains of Africa. This strange mound is home to millions of termites. Without blueprints, they build giant structures up to 15 meters in height, equipped with bedrooms, nurseries, storage areas, and gardens. And throughout all these halls, the temperature is kept stable in spite of the stifling heat outside. Inside this tower, every time a termite breathes, the air conditioning system is turned on. The water vapor produced by the breathing of the entire colony condenses on the walls and trickles down to the basement. Here, the wet ground is used for the continuous enlarging and remodeling of the termite nest. At this level, the air penetrates through the lateral galleries and starting in the basement, the water evaporates to cool off the entire structure. In the end, the wet air exits through the central chimney, which provides the necessary airflow for the air conditioner to work properly. The termite's mechanism for temperature control is perhaps the most perfect one created by any animal.
As we have seen, each species evolves in terms of its necessities and possibilities. Controlling the cold or the heat and searching for ways to save resources and energy. Something that we haven't learned to copy completely and something that continues to be an exclusively animal patent.